Hey everybody, so on something I've been wanting to do for a while. Uh, my channel's pretty random, as you probably guessed. Uh, if you've looked at any of the other videos I've done, I cover a lot of different things that I happen to be interested in at any one time, whether it be model railroading or uh, video gaming, uh, alternative energy research, and uh, some of the things like that. One thing that is always been interesting to me is uh, the Bigfoot phenomena. Uh, first of all, I'm Native American. Um, my channel is Negdosha Manido, which means horse spirit. Um, Negdosha means horse, Manido means spirit. That's in the Bodewadmi, uh, Potawatomi language. Um, we say Bodewadmi, um, but everybody else says Potawatomi. That's the anglicized <laughs> pronunciation for our tribe. I'm also Creek, um, but for our native peoples, uh, the question of whether Bigfoot exists has never been a question. We've had experienced connection uh, with them for thousands of years, so for us it's, it's like, well, of course they exist. Uh, but so I wanted to just kind of talk about that for a bit, for a, a little bit, and explain a uh, very quickly a uh, experience my daughter and I had about five years ago. Um, so I'll just intro it. We were out for a hike not far from where I live here in uh, north central Arizona and uh, maybe 20 miles out in an area that I'll show some uh, footage of a little bit later. Of course not the actual encounter itself because it lasted seconds and uh, I did not have any kind of uh, photography equipment, equipment with me at the time. I did have a weapon because I always carry a weapon when I go out. But uh, I'll get into that a little bit uh, in a little bit more detail with uh, some images, some still images, and some video of the site where it happened. But we were out for a hike uh, down some railroad tracks. Uh, she kept on going down the tracks with her head down, looking for railroad spikes. I climbed up on a cut uh, next to the railroad uh, right of way there, just to look at some of the rocks and things that were in the cut that had been made in the terrain there. I heard her scream. I look up, I see something stand up onto its hind legs, uh, starting to stand up anyway. Uh, and I thought, wow, those, those legs, those hind legs are really long. Because my brain is trying to make it fit into something I would expect to see out there. Maybe a, a jackrabbit or a coyote or maybe even something like a mountain lion or bear. We do have them out here. Uh, but it was black. Uh, I saw it get up and back away from her, uh, and as it backed away, it was actually going down in terrain uh, elevation from her. And then I saw it start to run away on all fours. It went behind some uh, that terrain that it was backing down it, where I couldn't see it, and I expected to see it run off uh, across the hill there, because uh, where it was running to, uh, eventually the train would rise and I would see it again so I expected to see it it never did up here from out from behind that uh, dirt berm uh, she runs back to me and she says yeah it was a Bigfoot it was about your height my height in other words so it was a juvenile uh, to my thinking I'm about 5'9 and uh, I said well where'd it go I never saw it come out from behind the dirt and she said well <laughs> she I said I, I saw it start to run on all four she said yeah it did but then it got up on two when it really wanted to move and then it disappeared yeah that's what I said disappeared as in poof as in gone right before her eyes this is not an unusual report uh, she said as she was walking along before it's she saw it she felt like she was being watched, but she thought that was just me stand up because she knew I was behind her. But she said as she was walking along, as she was looking for railroad spikes, and she stopped because she was coming up to a shrub, and she looked up through the shrub, and it was kind of a, you know, not real thick, so she could see, th she could see through it. She said this guy was down there, crouching down, looking straight at her. She was eyeball to eyeball with this guy and she screamed and uh, I turned around to look she said that's when it got up backed away from her on all fours and then started to run on all fours got up on two started moving out and then poof disappeared 
So that's that was the uh, the sighting. It lasted a matter of seconds, and uh, I've been back there since. I took that footage that I'm going to show you here shortly, and and um, a couple of still images too with some really cheesy. <laughs> Uh, animation, not animation, just uh, some places to have circles and drew, drew some things to show where what, what was what, but I'm not a graphic artist. I don't know how to do all that kind of stuff. I'm, I don't know Photoshop or anything, so I just used Microsoft Paint or whatever it is. But I'll show you that here in a minute, and then we'll finish up. We'll start with a pan. There's the cut where I was passing out of frame on the left. We're panning around to where she was. There's the bush, center screen. She was on the left. He was on the right behind the barbed wire fence there. Uh, the terrain falls away as you go to the right and uh, lower part of the screen, so he backed down to the right and lower part of the screen. I was still able to see him at this point as he started running then up screen, straight up just about, and then passed out of my view due to the uh, terrain there because uh, it's still kind of below where I was able to see, but it goes up there as you can see and that's what I expected to see him emerge from behind that uh, contour there, but he never did. And so here's a still image, that's where I was, and uh, I was about halfway up that cut there, uh, looking back towards, looking towards uh, her, which is where I'm standing right now, I'm about opposite her, where I'm taking the picture from. Next image is, <laughs> try not to laugh too much, her on the left, him on the right, there's the bush, uh, not to scale, <laughs> although well, kind of close. And he's on the other side of the uh, barbed wire fence. He moved down to the right and then up to the left as he started to run. And uh, then I lost sight of him as he moved up to the left and disappeared. Okay, so that's the story. Um, I just wanted to get that out there. A lot of people love to poo-poo the whole thing um, and say that people who report these sightings are crazy. I don't know what's crazier, reporting what you saw and being honest about it or ignoring thousands of years of experience and thousands upon thousands of eyewitness accounts. Uh, by the way, eyewitness accounts will stand up in a court of law. So, <laughs> I don't know. If, if, if that's not good enough for you, I don't know what is. But as I said, for me as a native, um, we've never questioned this. I don't, I don't question my elders and the old people that told us this. Um, I trust them. I, I think they're telling us the truth. And not only that, but uh, taking into account the cultures around the world that report these guys, from Nepal to Australia, um, you know, just all over, all over the world, these guys are, are reported. Um, so, uh, do that, do with that what you will. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. And uh, if you want to make a comment, fine. <laughs> Please do. If you've had a sighting yourself, tell us what you saw. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you all later. God bless. Let's see you.